Hi dolls. So I want to start off today by saying happy, happy belated turkey day. Of all the things that I'm grateful for, you, my subscribers, and my viewers are definitely included. Without you, I would not be where I am. So I want to go ahead and take the time to give you your flowers and let you know you are truly, truly appreciated. Now to jump into this hairstyle. Again, I'm coming to you with a style I posted on Facebook and a lot of people seem to really enjoy it. So I'm gonna show you how I was able to accomplish it. First, you start off by parting a straight line directly down the center of your head. Once you have two sections, you're gonna take one side and part down the perimeter. If your hair is really, really thick, such as mine, be sure not to make this section too bulky. You don't want a huge, huge braid along the edge. Once you're done detangling the section, apply a small amount of jam or gel and a little bit of lot of body edge control along the edges and brush it down. Now begin to braid your real hair down. We're going to do a feed in braid. You're going to braid it about yay far and then go ahead and start adding the weave. I cut my weave in half this time to ensure it was long enough to braid all the way past my real hair. Okay, yeah, so uh, thick hair problems. So many scrunchies, so many scrunchies. But yeah, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to part me a thin section, apply my gel and jam detangle it, brush it in, and do another feed-in braid. So now that we have that part out of the way, you're going to just make sure that part down the middle is as neat as possible, and then take one section and start applying gel throughout it. Now, the right way to do this would have been to take a small section gel it down, apply a rubber band, then take another small section, gel it down, add to it, and apply a rubber band. But I was going to take this style right back down, so I'm showing you the quick version. I'm just applying gel all throughout it, along the edges, the side, the back, all throughout, and then I'm going to brush it down as smooth as I can get it. Once you have the hair as smooth as you can get it, just put it in one big ponytail. Now you're going to take that ponytail and depending on how thick your hair is, you may be able to do this in one section. My hair is super thick, so I have to break it down into at least three sections. I'm just going to detangle a nice section and then twist it down into a plait. I'll then do that again for a second section and then a third section giving me three plaits. Now just take those three plaits and wrap them around each other. Um, I secured mine with a bobby pin, but it's up to you whether you want to just use a rubber band or not. Yeah. 
now we're going to do everything on the other side that we did on the first side but take your time don't rush you don't want to end up like this yeah this is eco styler gel by argonol just in case anyone was wondering and i'm still applying it all throughout all around the edges combing it through brushing it down as smooth as i can get it and applying it in a single ponytail Now, while you do the next step, you can allow this to uh, dry down and lay all of your baby hairs and stuff. So I'm just going to apply a little more edge control and tie it down. Now in this next step, I'm going to take some Marley hair that I used to do some Havana twist. I don't remember exactly what brand, I just remember taking them down in less than a week. Um, so if you haven't learned from my channel yet, you will learn that recycling hair is valuable. Now if this hair was dirty, I would have thrown it away, but um, I didn't leave it in that long, so I'm going to reuse it. I'm just dividing the strands out as much as possible to decrease the stiffness. And then I'm going to uh, apply a rubber band right in the middle. This is only about a third of the hair that I had in my head. So I'd say maybe a pack or a pack and a half. And although I have this process sped up, be sure to take your time. It will help if you spritz the hair with a little bit of water. Now this is the second bunch of hair and it already had a rubber band on it from the last time I used it. So I just detangled it. Now take one batch of hair by the rubber band and apply the rubber band around your bun, I guess you would call it and just wrap it around the top you're not wrapping it around the bun you're simply covering the bun with the hair to make like a semi globe i guess you'd say over the the bun once you have a nice rounded shape puff you want to apply a rubber band right at that point You then want to take the hair and twist it backwards. You will naturally feel when the hair starts to get stiff and doesn't want to twist anymore. That is the point where you will add another rubber band. Once you let it go, you will see that it has formed this bubble shape and you can adjust it to the size that you'd like it to be by moving the rubber band up or down. The bubbles should get smaller and smaller as you move towards the bottom. I did this a total of four times to get a total of five balls. Now, once you're done, just apply a hairpin or two at the top to keep the first bump from moving around. I swear sometimes doing hair is just like makeup. You always want to do to the other side exactly what you did to the first side. And though it may not always come out perfect, they should at least look like sisters. So yeah, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cover my hair bun with the weave and make this globy bubble shape and apply a rubber band. And I'm going to do that four times to get five balls Now that we're almost done, we're just going to spruce the style up. 
I'm just going to add a few beads on the end, um, a couple of little gold clips throughout the buns, and also a couple shells along my edges. This style was originally inspired by Miss Cameroon, who also has a YouTube channel and does great work. She did hers a little different. She used ponytail pieces and hers was a little more fluffy, um, but I still think mine came out really pretty. Now I must warn you that this style can be a little irritating, especially when you're trying to sleep. The puffs are a bit stiff, so you have to kind of work your way around. But if I were smart, I would have thought of the first time to simply just take the puffs off. They're only holding on with a hair clamp and a rubber band. You could easily take them off and put them right back on the next day. But if you don't want to take them off, this is how I attempted to tie them down. I think this style is perfect for a photo shoot or some type of runway activity, something of that nature. Um, but yeah, this is all I have for today. If you guys really enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so that you can see my future videos. And don't forget to leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought of this style. Love you dolls.